Hey everybody, Emerald Ed here with a toy review of the Hayek of Toys, The Fugitive Predator. All right, this is a knockoff of the Hot Toys Predator. So we'll say, for instance, like my Bormer Wolf, a Lost. All right, he has the same body type as the um, Hot Toys version one Predators. Uh, that's the City Harm mold from the top of the head down to the feet. All right. Dreads are a little bit different and they're kind of neat too. We'll get a little bit into that. I'm really digging the gear. Everything it, everything appears to come right off, but that's what this was for. We're gonna take them apart. We're gonna take off his equipment. I'm gonna show you guys what I see so you guys can picture the same thing. I paid $77 for him. I'd rather pay 77 than 400. So let's do this a little bit. All right, so let's go over his dreads. Very, very spongy, long, elasticy. But what they did was a pretty good job. They're really long, so they're really, they're really, really, really neat. Paint application, not too bad. Okay, not too bad at all. I'm really not, my feelings are not hurt about this paint application whatsoever. All right. Let's go over some of his gear real quick. He came with the AVP uh, shoulder cannon, has articulation. All right. It will go up into this ball socket here, right up on his shoulder. You can plug it right in. I'm gonna tell you what, but me personally, you guys, I didn't get this for a 1-6 scale Fugitive Predator. I got him because it's a 1-6 scale Predator for $77. That's why I got him. He came with some extra hands. All right, I'm not sure if I have to Dremel these out or not, so. He came with staff grasping hand, a combi stick. Very shiny. His hands are very shiny with the paint app, so it's not real dull. As you guys can see with the flash here, it's really showing you the, the shininess to them. Again, I didn't get them for the hands. If I need to change the hand paint, I will. This is more for just a flat hand, I'm guessing for a net gun. And I'm right for a net gun. Net gun did not come with him. This is off my uh, Sideshow exclusive Guardian uh, Predator. He also came with a Shuriken. All right, this is Hayaka Toys. This is Sideshow. Difference? The paint app on the inside, that is it. Maybe a little bit more weathering here on, this, on the Hot Toys. There's chromed out and shiny. Again, now I, now I got two, why not? Wrist blades, he gave us a short version. They do connect, I don't know, I believe it looks like a peg. Yeah, they're pegged. So then you give us a medium version here, here, and they come with a peg set, and they do connect. Well, they're not really staying in two two together, but again. I didn't buy it for the equipment. The equipment is just a, an extra, all right? And then they got a longer version, a ridiculously longer version. So again, if you want to customize your 1-6 scale Preds with these dudes, this is the way to go. I'm buying another one, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my the vendor that I used, 
is really good. And uh, you guys can uh, message me and I'll let you know who the vendor is. Uh, I had no problems with them. I had a little bit problems with these ones buckling in. Don't really care. Forearm. It's a clip. All they do is they slide right in. So if you want to clip these, some some Loctite. That's all you would need. Uh, let me stand them up here. Uh, I'll tell you what, I've heard a lot of people saying his joints probably suck. His joints are nice. He's got, I've got no problem with his joints. He just stands right up. Same articulation. I know the wolf predator behind him, I've taken him completely apart. Down to the screws. Right down to his inside, springs all. And this figure is solid, but we're gonna dig a little bit deeper onto him. All right, so right now we're gonna take a look. We're gonna take a look at the feet. All right. They operate on a peg. And we're gonna try to see if I can get these off. A little bit of resistance with them. They are the standard peg from Hot Toys. A little bit of little difference there. They do have some lubrication on them as well. All right. Armor. The way I'm feeling it, it will come off. It's not part of the it's not part of the leg. Any of it. It's not part of any of any of the leg whatsoever. It's just gonna be a matter of getting the feet off. And there's some play in there, but I kinda of really don't wanna break the peg. But I wanna be able to show you guys. There. Yep, and there goes something. That was a whole box of one six scale parts. Just went right off, right off the shelf. That sucks. But we'll, we'll deal with that. Right now, it's not about me, it's about you guys. All right, so now I got it off. Armor, solid. That is a solid piece of gear. Pegs, feet, excellent. And what I'll do is, let's see. Those pegs should be working well with let's see what I can do real quick. Yeah. It appears to work fine. These are not like uh hot the hot toys, so it's not rubber like real flexible, but it's flexible enough to where it would accept the peg. So that's a positive. So these pegs here will work in conjunction with um, Hot Toys figures. So that's good. That's real good actually. And that just shows you that on and off. Like so, all right. Thigh armor can come right off. Pretty good on the inside, I'm telling you. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. They've even sculpted the ball joint. I don't remember the ball joint having any type of sculpting to it whatsoever all right we'll go a little bit let's go a little bit deeper here hand peg um definitely they put them on they painted them right on so switching the hands might be a little bit difficult unless you can be able to get the peg out all right if you can get that peg out then you'll be okay overall i'm not too worried about that so what i'll do here is 
pull out a hand peg. A Hot Toys hand peg. Right in. Hot Toys hand pegs will fit perfect with them as well. Dan is probably getting them out. All right, and it come right out. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good quality for up for hands. So if you needed hands, different style at least. That's a positive. I'm trying to see where to take these take this gear off. And right now. This looks to be a, not a solid piece, but it had this, oh, I see. I believe, yeah. The armor, you might've just slid it right on, right from the top. I don't really see a, a, a crease or something where it wrapped around his body. It looks like they just slid it right on his waist and then glued it. A little bit of weathering and stuff there. That's not too bad. I'm just trying to get you guys some picture of the articulation up here. So it does have torso articulation. The shoulders are... It seems to be on a, almost like a socket. I wonder how I can get that off to show you guys, at least. Yeah, it's in the same, it's the same style. Let me see right up in there. It's the same style as uh, putting the, the gun on. So I really wouldn't worry too much about that. Popping that right off on, on and off would be fairly easy that's not too bad at all not too bad at all let's uh let me get his stand up at least put some of his armor and stuff back on for now until i can I apologize for the real crappy camera quality. I'm still getting the hang of this. My main goal wasn't to please you with camera quality. It was more to explain to you guys what you'll be getting, like I promised with this dude. And so far, what I was guessing was right. All right, we're gonna open up the stand real quick. Not too bad of a stand. Traditional style. Actually, almost a little bit better than some of the Hot Toys ones. Because of the... Uh, due to the actual gripping. I really don't like this one for him, to be honest with you. He needs one that can actually hold his waist. And I got that sitting right here. There, that's what he needs. Truly, that's what exactly what he needs. Yeah. All right, so if you get him, you need to switch the uh, your stand out a little bit. If you're gonna pose him up, I'm gonna scoot him back. I still can't keep him in frame for you guys. So now we're, we're back to the face. I don't mind the paint so much. Very glossy, still awesome articulation. We're gonna try to get these mandibles off. 
at least a little bit. I'm gonna adjust this camera real quick. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna try to get these mandibles off without snapping something here. All right, so I got one off and decided to go for, there it is. I decided to go for a ride. Okay. I think if you can get one off, you can probably get the other one off. They're in there. They're in there pretty, pretty tight. <clears throat> Got it. Ooh. So I got them off. And the first thing I want to do before we even get start going with the, the bio mask, okay, is I have the Guardian Predators closed mouth um, closed mouth mandibles and they do not fit. Those do not fit on him. Nope. So the mandibles are not, um, interchangeable. Okay. So that's one piece that kind of, that sucks, but I'm quite certain we've got too many awesome people and know how to do the customizing. I'm, I'm going to get a hold, get a hold of somebody that can, that can do it. So bio mask obviously is incorrect thing I really was a snub nose um, good paint apps one two not too pleased about it overall and it sits right in there not bad. All right, so overall, overall not too bad. Worth it. Worth your 77 bucks, so I can tell you that. I'm gonna do some more of them. I'm gonna have them posted up on the page. But just remember, you guys, it is seventy-seven dollars. It's worth seventy-seven dollars. Durable though, really durable. But hey, this is Emerald Net out.